Hey everyone, how are you doing? <laughs> well, another day, another dollar, I suppose. You know, another work day is over. I, I had a good day for the most part today, but it's funny how things just kind of creep up on you. But even though they're not, even though they're creeping up on you, you kind of are expecting them and you kind of know what they're going to, what they're going to do. And, you know, all day, I didn't sleep very well at all last night. I, I passed out on my chair, which on funny enough, like my best sleep is usually anywhere from 1230 to 330 when I pass out in my chair and because my body is exhausted, my mind is exhausted. And then I go to bed and then I just lay there. My mind just races. I can't sleep. I don't know what's going on. It's, you just can't shut it off. There's so much coming at us. Well, coming at me. I know. I'm sure you're all feeling that too. But coming at me in particular. And it's, it's getting to the point where I'm not even sure anymore. Like, what's the freaking point? What is the actual friggin' point to, to just keep plugging away? I'm a very positive person for the most part. And, you know, 97% of the time I've got a smile on my face. I'm looking at the bright side of things. I'm finding, I'm finding ways, of, you know, to make it better for everybody else and, and do stuff. I mean, that's part of my livelihood. It's part of my personality is part of who I am, but I'm tired. I'm really tired. I'm tired of always being the freaking positive person. I'm tired of always having to put a smile on my face and tell everybody, no, I'm okay. I'm fine. Everything's lovely. It's wonderful because it's not life shit right now. It really, really is shit. And personally, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm sure you're feeling it. And I, I just, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I, I really want to try to remain in that lane of positivity and light and go with things and go with the flow and, and, and just, you know, be adaptable and stuff like this. I'm tired of adapting. I'm tired of always having shit change. Always having stuff go on. Just when you think things are going the right way. Just when you think you've got it all figured out. Something happens and BAM! There you go. It's in, you're just, you're just screwed again. And you don't even know why. I had a friend once tell me that one of my, one of my qualities that, that he really liked about me was that my hustle. And that when I needed something to happen, I made it happen. Well, I'm not doing that because it's a skill. I'm doing that out of necessity. And I'm really tired of hustling. I'm really tired of making shit happen. I'm really tired of just having to be, always having to keep going. Like, I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely 150% exhausted. And I'm sure a lot of you are too. Like, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to, I really don't mean to, you know, come on and be, you know, negative Nelly and stuff like that. But there comes a breaking point for everybody. Like, yeah, I'm a freaking strong woman. I really, really am. And probably stronger than I should be. But that's a personality trait of mine that I, that I have to deal with as well. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to have to be strong all the time. I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to just keep it all together anymore. I really don't. I, I just want a break. I want a moment where everything is just calm. Things are content, things are peaceful, things are going going good, going the way they're supposed to, going right. Like, this isn't... It, 
it's not, it's, life sucks right now. It really does. On so many levels. If it's not finally coming out of all of this lockdown shit and mandate stuff, if it's not all that, it's then all of a sudden gas prices are through the roof and, and everything. Oh, well, that's great. Groceries, you can't afford to eat. You can't afford to go anywhere. You can barely afford to go to work to, to earn the money to put the gas in your car. Like, it's just, everything is ridiculous right now. It is absolutely ridiculous. And I think that there should just, just, we need a freaking moment. There needs to be a friggin' moment where we can just decompress. We can just realign. We can regroup. We can, we can, oh, like life is so frustrating right now. It really is. I'm really, I'm really tired. I'm sure you're all feeling it. I guess, I guess it'll, it'll be better and I guess I could take my own advice and, you know, I may not be able to control any things, but I can, I can control how I react to them and stuff like that. And, and yeah, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it. I, I go out every day and I, I try to be the best me I can be, the best version of myself and everything. And I keep growing. I keep changing. Life Life is making me do that. I, it's not allowing me to have a moment at all. To just, just wind down. To just sit for a moment. But I really want to just, just veg. I want to decompress. I want to, I want to be able to not have to worry about, about anything. Just for a minute. Please, just a freaking minute. I must say, I'm very proud of myself though with these videos, but I can't guarantee that it's not going to take a turn for the worst at some point because I curse like a sailor and I'm doing pretty freaking good, I think, you know, because all I want to do right now is just scream and swear and curse and punch something and just, just get it out. Like, there has to be a moment where things just stop. They just stop. Like, why? We have the choice. We have, we always have a choice to, to do better, to be better, to grow, to learn, to you know, be accepting and kind and, and, and everything, but <sighs> life is just so freaking heartbreaking right now. Like it really is. I had a friend tell me today that I was a really strong person, a person that I never, ever thought would tell me that it actually meant a lot to me that they would say this. Because I didn't really, you know, think about that person looking at me and thinking that. But that's what people see. That's what people see. That's what I've allowed people to see. Is that I am strong and that I'm positive and that I'm, that I'm always smiling and, and that, you know, I'm bubbly and I'm, and, and stuff like that. But you know what? There's, there's a part of me that's not, that's not that. There's a part of me that is, is dark and lonely and, and scared and, and tired and stressed and just, just exhausted. I don't want to be the person, I don't want to be that person, like I want to be, I want to be better, I don't want to be, you know, all of those negative things about myself, but I am those things, it's part of me, 
they're in all of us and and I'm just I'm doing I'm doing everything I possibly can to just keep it all together I really am I'm hanging on by a thread like at any given point I just feel like the lightest whisper the lightest breeze could just knock me over it won't it wouldn't take much like I'm just I'm just tired I'm sure everybody is maybe we just Maybe we just all need a moment. Everything just has to stop hitting us. Like why we're punching bags right now. We have been for the last couple of years and it just seems, it's just horrible. I've been, I've been working a lot on a lot of things. I know I said in my last video there's a lot going on in my life and there really is. My 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 dad, my real dad, um passed away on December 30th. I'm his next of kin. There's a lot of crazy shit going on with that. And I it's hard doing it provinces away. And having to take care of a man who didn't take care of his own affairs, his own life, is nothing. Like, as wonderful as my dad was, my dad was... We had issues. Lots. And that shit's hard. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of dealing with that. And it would just be so much easier for me to just not deal with it. But I have to. I'm, it's just me. I'm an only child. I have no, I have nobody else to lean on with this. It's absolute bullshit. The stuff that I'm going through, especially dealing with his crazy ass lunatic, unstable girlfriend. And so that's one thing. That's, that's, that's one thing. You know, lots of stuff going on at work. I've got some changes in staff and and that coming up and so you know that's that's hard and everything and there's just there's just so much happening and then there's me on a personal level like I have so much shit happening a couple of weeks ago well probably three weeks ago now maybe four and stuff I reached out to a life coach Yep, totally did. And I'm not even I'm not even ashamed to say it. I reached out to a life coach because you know what? My shit's not as together as everybody thinks my shit's together. And I I need her to to help me kind of focus, focus my energy, figure out figure out my purpose in life, figure out what I want to what I want to do, like what, where I want to go from here. How do I, how do I take care of all of these feelings that are going on inside of me and, and, and figure it out. And it's bringing up a lot of stuff. And like, that's, I, I, it's important. It's definitely important that I do this and I'm getting it all out and I'm working out stuff and I'm realizing things about myself that I didn't necessarily know or I did know it, but I never wanted to acknowledge it. I've never actually sat down and actually just wrote and, and I had questions being asked to me that I had to actually sit and think about and, and sit with where I felt about stuff and see how it was, how has this, how has this stuff in my life affected me? How has, how has my upbringing brought me to where I am now? How has, how has, you know, my relationships affected me in my life? And how has, how have, I, how has the relationship with myself affected my life? <clears throat> and 
I'm really proud of what I'm doing. I really am. I'm super proud of what I'm doing because it's the first time in my life I genuinely, genuinely have done something for myself, for my friggin' self, doing something for me. And you know what? The night that I sent in my intake form, I was completely struck, overwhelmed with guilt. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't have a guilty personality. I make decisions. I accept the outcomes and the consequences, whether they be good or bad. I don't blame anybody for those choices because I made them. I'm accountable to myself for the choices that I've made. That's not something a lot of people do. But that's just, I've always been that way. And, but it really hit me. It hit me really hard when I sent in that intake form. Because I felt guilty for doing it. Because I was actually reaching out. I was actually reaching out to, to a professional. To somebody who might be able to help me make sense of this. Who might be able to help me connect with what's going on inside of me that might be able to take all of the chaos and help it like and I'm really proud of myself for doing that and I'm really proud of the work that I've put in so far and it's I think it's only going to get better but I think that there's these moments where I am just feeling so freaking frustrated and so angry and so so out of control that it's it's hard to focus my energy on the things that I can control. Even though my energy and stuff like that, I can control that. I really can. But I don't want to right now. I just want to sit down and have a freaking tantrum. Like, I just want to be four years old again. I want to sit there and I want to kick and I want to scream and punch and cry. And I want to just have a freaking tantrum. I want to. I really do. And maybe, maybe some of you will say, well, congratulations, mission accomplished, goal achieved. This is what that video is. You're basically having a tantrum. And I just, yeah, maybe I am. And you know what? And I want to say it's okay. It's okay that I'm having a little bit of a tantrum, a little bit of a moment, a little bit of a meltdown. And I'm, I'm just, I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to use that to fuel my fire. Why not? Wherever you can get the fuel for your fire to do something different, do it. Feel everything. I say this all the time. I know I said I'm a little, I'm an only child, but there is a young woman in my life who she's been in my life for a while and she's younger than I am. And I consider her my little sister. She considers me her big sister. And anybody who knows me and her and us, they know, they know that relationship. And we are as close as any two sisters could be. But I tell her, I tell her all the time, it's okay to feel your feelings. You have to feel your feelings. You've got to be able to push through them, go through them. If you don't feel them, they stay inside. They get in there and they embed themselves in there and they just, they will affect everything else around you and stuff. So you know what? Maybe that's what I'm doing right now. I'm letting my frustration and my anger and my pissed offness just come out. I'm tired. I'm really tired. There's a new thing I'm trying and we'll see how this goes, but there's a new thing that I'm doing and it's called setting boundaries, setting boundaries for myself about what I will accept in my life, what I will accept from other people. I think they're important. It's something I haven't really done, but I can tell you one thing. I've been feeling it a lot. I've been, I've been putting up the boundaries and I don't know if they're, I don't know, you know, if they'll be able to be pushed again or I'll take them down or I'll reconsider them or whatever. But I'm telling you one thing, I'm done. I'm done. No more Mrs. Nice Nikki.
that the I, I can't. I can't. I give and I give and I give and I give and I give of myself to other people. And not that that's a bad thing because I love people. I love helping people. I love, I love, I just love connecting with people. I love that. I really do. And I don't mind, but there's certain people that I just keep, I keep giving, I keep giving to, and I can't do it anymore. I know they say, you know, there's been people that have told me that I, they, they're drawn to me, my light, my positivity, all of that. And then there's been people over the years that they're drawn to that because they don't have it and they want it and they try to suck it out of me. And some have started to, some have started to, and I've said, whoa, no, I don't think so. We're not going there. You don't find, you don't, you don't take my light. You go find your own goddamn light because I can tell you one thing that I'm not willing to give up my light for anybody, anybody. And it's just, <laughs> it's one of those things I'm not going to compromise on. That is a boundary. That is a boundary that I will not compromise. It's time to fight for me because I can tell you one thing I'm friggin worth it I'm worth it and anybody who has not seen that or not appreciated that well they're not around anymore I can tell you that much I don't, I don't want y'all to think, you know, please don't, don't think that this is, this is what it's always going to be. This is what it always is. Cause it's not, I'm having a moment and well, I'm getting it out there because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're all ready to have a moment or two. And you know what? I think that's kind of all right. So I'm going to sign off for now and I'm hoping that I will go about my business and have a wonderful evening. And I'm hoping that you guys are having a wonderful evening. And if you get a chance to watch this and I bring you down a little bit, I want you to know I apologize about that. But I want you to know I'm strong. I am strong. And I will get through all of the frustrations that I'm feeling right now because that's what I do. I just put on my big girl panties and deal with it. And I will do it again. But right now, I just want to have my tantrum. If you can relate to anything I'm saying and you want to connect with me, of course, or find out when I'm putting on any other videos, please subscribe to my channel and, you know, reach out to me, send me a message, comment, do whatever you want to do. But, um, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. And, uh, if you're kind of feeling the same way I am lately, well, let me know. You know, I, I don't think I'm alone in this world with how I'm feeling. So, yeah, that'd be great. Great to hear from you. So, have a good night, and we'll talk again soon. Bye.